Hello. Today we're going to go over the F dot procedure for doing plan clip sheets. This process has changed considerably from the old Geopack days, and we're now using what is known as named boundaries. What I have here, what is it being illustrated, is a plan sheet that was created using the F dot menu, create file, creating a plan sheet. This is my third one, then in several examples here just playing around. Um, just to show you, we're, I'm using the latest f.connect software with the latest Bentley ORD software as of November 2020. See my date down at the bottom. So, I've already, you see I've already clipped some sheets here. These are the boundaries. And I have, and I can use the Explorer since I put these in the index, I can jump from sheet to sheet by simply using the Explorer to take me from some. Now these aren't finalized. I know I'm, I was going to delete them for this example, but you see I have, you know, I have to move them. They're not centered or anything, but they have text out here. It's got the, the, arrow, the arrow. I have um, Gulf of Mexico labels. I have where there's right away. The right away is la labeled, you know, the location like here, Coquina Beach, this is uh, job up in uh, Longboat Key. I use, chose to use as an example. But I want to delete all these. And the beauty of it, since I didn't do the labeling each of these subsequent models that are created, I'm not going to lose any of these labels for like the right of way and the state road number and all that stuff. I, none of that will go away because I've done that in a text file. But to use the text file option is, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come back to the default file. You lay out these sheets first, and then you reference to this a text document. Then you go into the text document and reference this plan sheet with all its subsequent references to that, to itself, so that you can see everything. And then you can use the sheet borders using the rotate view by two points so you can orient your view correctly, so you can do your labeling. And then no matter if you have to make any changes, be it the width or of your sheets or anything, you can reclip the sheets and you're not going to lose all the time and effort that you've done for creating all your text labels. So we're going to do that right now. And the easiest way to delete these sheets, instead of individually de deleting all these borders and then you have to go manually delete the models always, but then you also have to go and delete your saved views. Otherwise, when you go to sheet again, instead of starting at plan one, you'll start at plan 10. And so, and so on. Every time you delete it, you'll wind up at, a, at 99 eventually, or 101. Uh, so what you, the easiest way to do it is come, go back to your drawing production, name boundaries, open the little dialog that's from this button here, open your plan groups, and here's our baseline for longboat. Highlight it. You see it highlights all your sheets and either right click and hit delete or hit the delete up here. Say yes to deleting all the saved views. And now you'll see it has cleared out all the saved views. Our models are still there and you still have the indexing because that just allows you to jump from model to model. But you see this will all disappear once we go to the models. Highlight your models. Select the, select them all and delete. Now we have no save views, no models, and again, the Explorer popped up. All the indexing is gone as well. So let's, we're gonna start from fresh. We're gonna go ahead and clip our sheets for the first time again. So you come to the name boundaries dialog, and we've already set our text how we want the size. In this case, I'm using one to 40 scale. You'll see when I alter that, let me zoom in around some text here. Here's a, which is Longo key, change it to one to 50 or one to 20. Change, see, that dynamically changes your scale. So we want to do it at one to 40. And that's why I placed it in the uh, text file as well. That's why to keep everything uh, the same. So here we select our drawing seed. Okay, this is the latest ones that are, and if you've done this already, you may have seen the names have changed. I thought has updated these. We're going to do a plan only sheet. If we're doing plan, plan, we can also come over to 
the uh, profile for doing plan profile and select the profile detail, you know, the drawing seat as well. But we're just doing plan right now. I want to change this to 1 to 40 scale. We're going to start at plan 1. And if it's telling you, with most of already, you have messages at the lower left hand corner. This is telling you to identify our path. So I'm going to zoom in over here and select my baseline. You cannot change this name. If you change the name, it's going to get overwritten as soon as you select your baseline. You have to first select what the, the path that you're going to do the sheets on, accept it, and you'll see it has the name. And you'll see I have a the clip sheet borders are here. But I want to change this name. So at this point is when you can change it. So I want to put a dash in there. Hit enter. And we, you can then place our borders and we can go ahead and key it in. 121 plus 6 and where the beginning is. And it'll it'll take it takes us to the beginning. And you'll see as I scroll around, now it's the end location is asking. I didn't think you know, I could have uh, tentative for the first, but I chose to key in. And I'm going to do the same here. So instead, of, instead of trying to zoom in and find my location, I know what the stations are since I'm familiar with this. And, but I also want to change the width. Because right now there's 600, but I have a curve in this alignment. So if I do 600, then I have, that gives me very little wiggle room to accommodate this. So I'm going to change this to 560. 560 and plus. I change this. I go 560. Enter. And I'm going to key in the end station. 72 plus 00. zero. Enter. So now I have my borders out there. You'll see they're still not, they haven't been placed. It's based on what I've, uh, it's, it's based on the um, data pointing here. So when I come off the design plane, they disappear. So I'll data point to accept. That's accepting the first location. I data point again, and that actually places it. So we had the, the start, end, and then place it. One thing, you saw how the dialog disappeared. When I, we were doing it, I left this create, di this create drawing off. I don't want that toggled on, because when you're doing this the first time, like I said, we have a, a, uh, a text document. So you'll place these borders, then you'll reference the file to the text file so you can see all this stuff and you can use these borders to help align yourself to place your text. So now, assuming we've done all that, we're, now comes time to actually doing the clipping. Since I've already done that, we come back to the name boundaries, again, to this little icon. Click on this to open it and we have our groups. And if we want, we can click on one of them and clip the sheet individually. Right now, we have no saved views and no models. Okay, we haven't, you know, we haven't done anything yet. But I want to do all of them. And notice when you when you select the entire group, they all highlight. But you're going to do all of them. If you just select one, just one highlights. And we want to clip them. We want to clip them all. You can create plans by clicking on this icon, or you can right click here. But before we do this, you can right click here and do. It. Before we do this, we want to click on this icon, make sure it's blue, so we're going to show the dialog, and this one for, to do the annotation. Make, highlight that as well. We'll click on it so they're both blue. Now, come over to your longbook key and make sure it's highlighted, and click on the Create Plan Drawing. This will then bring up our Create Drawing dialog, where we're going to do plan drawings. We want to start at plan one. We're going to do the 17 by 11. You are scale, we want to make sure it's 1 to 40. Make sure the drawing model scale is 1 to 40. And our sheet model scale is 1 to 40 down here for the detail. I want to make sure it's 1 to 40. But now the this scale needs to stay the for the paper drawing 1 to 1. Do not that needs to be 1 to 1. And then for annotating, this is very important here, the annotation group. We want to drop this and do the drawing and select plan annotation. Once you have the dialog set as such, we want to make sure add to sheet index is on and we'll click OK. This starts the sheeting process and you'll see at the lower right we have the status indicator. And once it finishes, it'll dump us into the last sheet that they clipped, the ninth, in this case, plan nine. That'll be the last one 
Eclipse, and you'll see it's going. To, you'll see the model here for, goes from default to Plan Nine once it's, and we have our last sheet, and it's also showing you that we have our. It's been indexed, so I and here I can jump to another one by clicking on this. I can jump to another model. You can also do that by doing, clicking up here and selecting the model you want, or you can do it through the Explorer. You'll see we also have there are all the models, and here are the saved views. And there are our sheets. In the, in the close this dialog now. This is common, giving us a road number, our county, our, our financial project ID, and place plan, and also do, done the sheet number. Now you see some of these are a little bit, it doesn't quite align them because we're not using the full length. The only way to correct that, there's no automated way of correcting that. You come in here. And you can do a quick measurement, you can, or you can eyeball it, what I'm going to do real quick. And you can measure it and move it over, and all that, that's simple enough. All you do is come to the reference, cut your reference, right-click, and say, move. Come over to your, you know, select an element, you know, pick, pick an element, and you can move it over slightly. So you, you can see the borders. And... Move it till you're satisfied with the the alignment. Just moving it ever so slightly, just to, just to align it. Okay. Well, once you're finished with the alignment, you hit reset. Then, uh, if you, you can be more precise by taking a measurement, of what it is, and actually measure measuring the distance. So you and moving it over by by a precise distance. Now, that's these are the easy ones, and you see you have the uh, the the scales placed out there. For you and all, all the text that was in the is all referenced for us. Now, if we look at some of the like sheet two where there's a curve, this one has needs a little bit more to do. So, you, because of the curvature, you you have parts of it are, that are outside and also it's not aligned. Had we gone to the full 600, these points would be all the way out to these borders, and then I'd have very little recourse for correcting what's being clipped. By doing this, I can have I have leeway to move this around. So we'll come over and first we'll do our, our move command. We'll move this so we, we can maximize the, the amount of, of usable space. We'll place it, you know, so we have the, the we center it as best and we have as much information shown and where the clipping boundary is not clipping anything that is of consequence for our design. And now what we'll do is use a place fence and just place the place a fence inside our clipping boundary. And we'll come over again to the this and select, we have our alignment, our, our design for our reference file, clip boundary, and we'll use active fence and accept it. And then you can turn off the fence. And now we have, everything's been nicely clipped. And again, we have all our information. Now let me show you where this information comes from. You know, it even shows you where the file is located. This all comes from the, and I'm gonna have to exit out of the design and file for a second. Exit, I'll, I'll exit out, or close the file rather, close it so we can get to the preferences. These properties, this is all taken from the properties that you set up for, for your project. So you edit your advanced projects and it knows the county name, knows the state road number, it knows the vendor, knows, and it has your financial project number as well. So that's where that information is being drawn upon. So let's get back into the file. And you're probably wondering, what about the description? Where's the description coming from?
get back in. We will jump into one of the uh, into one of our sheets. Where's plan coming from? Where's that information? Well, that is coming from if you go file properties, the actual properties for the file itself. That's right here, the title of the file. So if I want to make that roadway plan, I can come in here and click and type roadway plan plans enter and now you have to jog the file a little bit so I will go back to the default real quick and then jump into another file you see now they all say roadway plan that is the uh, where that information comes from and with that I conclude how to do plan sheets Thank you very much.